What's up, people? Scotty P here. It is a lovely Thursday. I keep thinking it's Friday, <laughs> but it's not. It's Thursday. Uh, holiday weeks kill me. Get this housekeeping out of the way first. Smoking my Pastatory poker, which is kind of cool. Stubby little pipe, bent stem, which is definitely my style. wanted a poker for Englishes and Balkans, and this one definitely fits the bill. Speaking of, I am smoking Galatogarth Balkan Mixture, which, uh, I gotta tell you, I rotate through a lot of different tobaccos, but I keep coming back to this one a whole lot. It is awesome. The reason why I'm talking to you today is Chad Yarborough's 200-something sub giveaway, which, I gotta tell you, Chad, that question is awesome and folks if you watch my channel and you're not sub to Chad Yarbrough how is that even possible um, but if it is give him a sub check out his stuff awesome stuff absolutely awesome stuff and um, almost done with this this thing the charring light like, smoked halfway down the bowl so obviously this thing likes this type of tobacco I like this type of tobacco so ergo ipso de facto voila I like this pipe. Back to the task at hand. Chad asked us if we could take five people and create a band, um, who would we pick? Now, it could be anybody except for people that were in the same band. So, um, you know, he used ZZ Top for an example. Couldn't pick two people from ZZ Top. So, as far as I know, these people would never been in the same band before, so hopefully I'm right. If not, I'm gonna have to redo this. Um, so I started with Steve Winwood, and not like nowadays Steve Winwood, but Spencer Davis group Steve Winwood, because um, that was awesome stuff. So I, I always love organ, and, um, and his voice is awesome, especially way back when uh, that whole. You know, give me some love and, and uh, I'm a man. Awesome stuff. So, uh, some of my favorite stuff of all time. So, uh, if we're going to put together a rhythm section, let's say bass. And I am not the biggest Beatles fan, but I appreciate the Beatles. It's just the music that I was into back in the day when I was becoming a musician and all that stuff. I was. I started off listening to a whole lot of uh, Van Halen and stuff like that, and I just wanted to be Eddie Van Halen, so I picked up a guitar, and the first song I ever learned was Pound Cake, but I'm not going to pick any from anybody from Van Halen, because <laughs> I'm trying to create a good band here. So, back to the Beatles. Paul McCartney would be my bass player, because he is a solid bass player, and uh, just the value of having Paul McCartney, and that would be awesome. And I'm not talking like nowadays Paul McCartney. Most of these people aren't going to be nowadays, these people. Um, so rhythm section. Paul McCartney on bass. On drums, I'm going to go with Matt Cameron, uh, who you may know from uh, Pearl Jam or Soundgarden, uh, because that guy is awesome. And uh, especially, for me, at least, uh, especially the Soundgarden stuff. But that guy can do a lot of different things. So just on that, that he's a really solid drummer and he could do a lot of different things, boom, Matt Cameron. Um, and I was a drummer for a long time and there's a whole lot of people that I can pick. <laughs> Dave Weckl, you know, Terry Bozio, yada yada. Wouldn't really help this situation, so I'm going to go with Matt Cameron. Now, for guitarists, because that's three people now, we can pick five. So I'm going to go with two guitarists. I'm going to go with Warren Haynes. Now, I was going to say Dickie Betts, but then I started thinking about it. I like Warren Haynes a little bit better. I love his voice. So between Steve Winwood, Paul McCartney, and Warren Haynes, somebody's got to be a singer. Uh, and you're going to have plenty of awesome backing vocals, no matter who you choose as lead singer. So, Warren Haynes. Now, for the other guitarist, Again, I'm not the biggest Guns N' Roses fan, just like I'm not the biggest Beatles fan. But Slash is an awesome guitarist. And even though he's mostly known for uh, Guns N' Roses, 
he did a lot of studio work back in the day. I'm sure he probably still does. Um, so, you know, and his, his tone, his style is just, you know, like I said, I'm not the biggest Guns N' Roses fan, but I know every single note from his solos. So, that's my five. <laughs> Hopefully that would, you know, meld into some really good sound, but who knows? It's tough when you pick, like, a super group, because they usually don't work out. They just don't, you know? Except for stuff like Blind Faith, but even then, it's like, would I say that they really had totally solid albums? Yeah. But the individual pieces were probably better off than their original bands. I don't know. So, that's my group, folks. Uh, Chad, awesome question. I really dig it. And uh, he had one more thing. So, he had a big jug of pennies. I almost forgot about this. I was going to do it first because I knew I was going to forget it. He had a jar of 6,152 pennies. That's my guess. I'm probably wrong. <laughs> but I picked a number, and that's it. 6,152. So, Chad, congratulations on the subs. Awesome question for a giveaway. Good luck with your giveaway, bro. And, uh, folks, I'm going to go hit some golf balls. So, salute.